Uh, hello, my name is Fluffy, and I'm going to be showing you how to do Vespula without a prayer enhance, without using pretty much any supplies. The only supply I used in this video was one range dose, but sometimes you'll have to use an anti-poison. And you can also use Trident for this, but I would recommend getting an overload first. All right, let's jump in there. The first thing you're going to do is attack the portal. Uh, hopefully this will prevent Vespula from waking up any grubs, but if she does, it's okay. Uh, and as soon as you attack the portal, you're going to run to the tile I have marked here. The reason you do this is to enrage Vespula so she doesn't start poking her butt at her grubs. And the pattern we're going to follow here is five attacks on Vespula, and then wait one tick and attack the portal. After five attacks, she will lose interest on being enraged on the portal, so you'll have to attack the portal to get her enraged again. The reason you wait one tick is because if you go under her too early, you'll take damage and there's no reason to run immediately because it takes two ticks to get to the portal. So you might as well wait one extra. And then you just run back to your tile and start attacking her for five more attacks. Now, once she's under, I think it's about 20% HP or something from your five attacks, you're going to be able to actually attack the portal for four attacks. So this is your opportunity to get as much damage in on the portal as possible and then run back to the tile immediately and start attacking her for five more attacks. If you notice I'm not actually praying anything sometimes when I'm attacking Vespula that's because it's not necessary most of the time. I would say it's necessary to get her close to 20 percent so that you know you'll be able to get your four hits on the portal after that fifth attack and you definitely want to be praying uh, protect from range and your best offensive prayer when you're actually attacking the portal and you want to be protecting from range because she does attack you with range attacks when she's scuttling along the ground and she can also poison you during this time but thankfully you're kind of flinching her on accident just by the nature of where she's standing and where you need to stand to attack the portal so it, it kind of works out and usually I don't get poisoned so I think that's pretty much everything so I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one